Hi, it's Angela Raincatcher here. It is Tuesday, April the 7th, um, and it's my lunch break, and I just had to get out of the house. I uh, It's a, such a beautiful day out, you know, and I've been sitting <laughs> in the same room for far too long. Um, so I thought today um, we'd have our reading uh, of... Uh, Pima Chodron's Comfortable with Uncertainty. Uh, we're going to be reading uh, chapter 12 today. Um, but, you know, first I just want to, you know, check in with you guys and, you know, see how you're doing. Uh, I know you can't really tell me how you're doing. Um, but I do want you to know that, that someone, someone does care. And... I know all of us are experiencing this time in, in different ways, um, and we all have different mechanisms for, you know, getting through the day, whether we're staying at home or um, we're teleworking or if we're um, having to go into, go into our work or if we're having to, like, work insane amount of hours and... Yeah, you know, no matter where you are, uh, I know that there's just a lot of stuff going on, and we're dealing with a lot of stress that uh, we never, you know, we haven't dealt with. Um, you know, and for some of us, it's like all new, and for some of us, it's just compounding of things. Um, so anyway, I'm like I said, I'm outside, woo, and um, I'll just jump in. We'll read chapter twelve together. And uh, chapter 12 is The Root of Suffering. What keeps us unhappy and stuck in a limited view of reality is our tendency to seek pleasure and avoid pain, to seek security and avoid groundlessness, to seek comfort and avoid discomfort. This is how we keep ourselves enclosed in a cocoon. Out there are all the planets and all the galaxies and vast space, but we're stuck here in this cocoon. Moment after moment, we're deciding that we would rather stay in that cocoon than step out into that large space. Life in our cocoon is cozy and secure. We've gotten it all together. It's safe. It's predictable, it's convenient, and it's trustworthy. If we feel ill at ease, we just fill in those gaps. Our mind is always seeking zones of safety. We're in this zone of safety and that's what we consider life, getting it all together, security. Death is losing that. We fear losing our illusion of security and that's what makes us anxious. We fear being confused and not knowing which way to turn. We want to know what's happening. The mind is always seeking zones of safety. And those zones of safety are continually falling apart. Then we scramble to get another zone of safety back together again. We spend all our energy and waste our lives trying to recreate these zones of safety, which are always falling apart. That's the essence of samsara, the cycle of suffering that comes from continuing to seek happiness in all the wrong places. I was having a conversation with a, a friend of mine, um, maybe about a week, week and a half ago, about how we go through life sometimes <laughs> thinking about how, you know, we can plan in advance. Like, okay, like next year I'm going to do this, or in six months I'm going to be able to do that, uh, or, you know, this is going to happen at this and such a date. And we 
move through our lives as if it's certain that these things are going to happen, uh, as if we know with certainty. Um, you know, we're going to get up tomorrow. We're going to have a job. We're going to do the laundry. We're going to do these things. And how having this, um, having this pandemic happen has completely pulled aside the the curtain it's like completely like ripped the bandage off our eyes to show us that like fuck all nothing is actually certain um and this anxiety that that we feel is because we want there to be certainty in a place where there is none we want there to be safety in a place where there there is none and trying to control everything in a in a uh, in a in a world that we we cannot control is just crazy making and and i i i I don't know. I I don't know where to go with this, um, except just, you know, to be with it because I'm finding that personally, like if I think about things too far in advance, I'm just like, "Mm, yeah, we have no idea. (laughs) Like we have no idea when we're going to go back to work. We have no idea when things are going to return to normal if they ever do. Um, And I find myself just, I, I just am hitting this wall, you know, of like, I can't, I can't think beyond a couple of weeks from now. I can't think beyond this week, you know, um, because, because it's uncertain and I'm not used to dealing with that. None of us are really used to dealing with that. And so there's nothing really for us except the present moment. And what can we find in the present moment? And where can, what can we do in the present moment? And I think, um, I think that's what the sitting meditation, um, and the, and the gift of loving kindness, you know, what we can, what can we do in the present moment? We can be with our emotions. We can be with ourselves. We can give ourselves that gift of loving kindness. We can then give it to others in the moment, in the now, um, and it's, I just feel like each, each day is for me an opportunity to to take some time. And it's hard though, because, you know, like things are just pulling at us from all, all directions, you know, depending on your situation you may have less time now. <laughs> you may have more stress and less time now than you did before, you know. Um, and and I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to do with that. Um, and that's okay. I think that's, it has to be okay, right? Um, I think all we can really do in the, in the, in the moment, in the now is, is to support each other and to love each other and to be kind to each other. Cause this world is a bitch and a half without us having to add onto that. You know, nobody needs dog piling onto right now. Nobody. Um, and so with that, you know, I just want to let you all know that, uh, I love you. I see you and uh, I am here for you and um, you know if you have any response to anything that I've said or the readings you know please comment uh, either on Facebook or YouTube Uh, I do respond to comments Um, if you like this video uh, please you know give it a like Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, feel free to, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing this every day. Um, I'm also 
got a couple of other videos that I've got in the works uh, that I hope will be coming out within the next couple of weeks that are more, um, you know, a uh, little like more scripted, more, more arty uh, than this. And um, I also want to invite you to the Connect DC uh, full moon meditation, which is tonight, Tuesday night, April 7th. It's at 7.30 p.m. Uh, we're going to be doing a guided meditation uh, live streaming at facebook.com uh, slash connect DC. Um, so uh, you can find us there uh, tonight. And with that, I think I will say goodbye uh, for now. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Peace. Blessed be.